How's it going guys and welcome back to another episode of Let's Build. Today's episode we are going to be building ourselves some torpedoes. So we need to build a boat first and then we're going to build some torpedoes to launch from that boat. So with basic boat we're just going to start with some flat panels like this and we want to leave a couple of gaps in between in the front so that we can put our torpedoes there. So say if we build let's see a simple boat like this grab a simple seat or we're going to use that we're going to use the cap seat sure why not and flotation devices we're going to use some flotation devices don't keep these right like that pop one on that side copy these out cover these sides like this so now we want to leave a gap for torpedoes so if we remove these three and go with our 2x8s, because these torpedoes will probably be about four blocks wide, roughly. So we have a gap like this, put one of these in the middle, that's going to leave us three and three. That's not going to work. So if we leave those like that, we can get rid of these and swap them out with these. Now we got four and four, we got slots, so we automatically know that our detachable blocks are going to go in here. And just for symmetry's sake, where you can use one detachable block, I tend to use two simply because if one detaches, if it's just one and it detaches, your creation is going to be offset unless it's a, a non symmetrical build where it's only three wide or five wide or something and you're letting it go from right in the middle. Other than that, I find most of the time you'll want to use a symmetric release. So we're going to go with number one on those. So now let's go over to the water. And we don't have any propulsion or anything yet. We do float, so let's just throw a couple of uh, engines under here, a couple of uh, propellers. We're going to make those space. No reverse. So just like that, so we should be able to jump in, we should be able to motor around like this now. Nice and simple. Simple lack. We're not too concerned with the boat itself, we are more concerned with the torpedoes. All right, so now, building torpedoes. I find the best way to build torpedoes is to use parts that float so that you've got assistance with whatever weight you're throwing on there, the engines, the fins that you're using for stabilization, and so on. So, if we go down here to our... Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need is an XOR gate because we want our creation to continue going once it detaches. So we know we're going to need that, so that's a great way to set our detachable blocks onto an XOR gate, and we've got control points on either side. So let's go with some, let's see, we'll go with maybe some fours, some tubes. So we'll go with a double set there, and a double set there. Now we're going to need something here to be able to attach anything on further if we want any more control points for an engine underneath. So we've got two control points here on this block, which we can put our fins on. So let's put some little fins on there. Unpowered, rotate those upside down. Move to the back like that. Two of them like that. Pop these two over to that side. Now, we can come back here to our pipes. These are the heaviest control points, the two double cross. It's got connection points on all sides. We don't necessarily need them on the sides but we do want them up and down continuing. So we're gonna use these three pointed ones like this and spin it around this way. So we don't need any, oh, we don't need any control points on the outside here, but we will need some on the bottom and we don't need any on the top either. So go like that and then we bring these, we can copy these out, select all four of these, copy them out to the side, pop it over one, and then the front end here. So we want these to go kaboom when they hit something. So that means we gonna need dynamite. And if we want to connect dynamite like this, dynamite weighs 3.1 kilos. So we got like over six kilos on the front here, which means that we might possibly need something for flotation to help that float. But we'll see if these uh, pipes will actually Help it out. So let's go with a little bit of a slope on the front here. Let's go with maybe like this, and I'm going to have the slope facing upward so that it does create a very, very small amount of lift as it's moving forward. And underneath here is where we're going to put our propellers. So we'll put one there, 
and we'll put one there. Now, the reason I usually put them at the front is if you put them at the back, it's gonna wanna lift the whole thing right out of the way. This thing doesn't weigh anything, but this propeller can actually move a whole boat, right? So we wanna remove the controls from here, and we wanna put them on the front because we want it to basically be pulling it through the water. And if it's pulling from the nose, then it's always gonna be trying to lift it out of the water, but it can't lift anything out of the water, so it'll be basically pulling like a, a dog sled or a horse pulling a, a carriage. You're gonna get a more forward pulling force rather than an upwards force of the jet trying to lift you out of the water. So let's set this one here to uh, number dose. So two, it's gonna to toggle this one. And I'm also gonna set it to toggle these. So I can detach. This one here is gonna be number one. Number one on the green is gonna to toggle. So detach those ones. Engage our propeller. Now let's do a quick test. Drop that in the water. Are we still floating? Oh, we didn't remove the controls from the dynamite. And guess what that's set to? Space. So we'll remove the controls from that. And now let's try this again, boys and girls. Can we move a little bit like this? All right, hit number one. And it go down to the bottom. Boom. Oh, and uh, number one apparently detached both of them. Okay. What's wrong with this picture? Uh, Note, these are not number one. Oh, that's right. I originally set those to number one, didn't I? I don't want those. No controls on them suckers. All right, so it went straight down to the bottom, which means... I think it's too heavy. It's getting... It's getting... It's getting kind of heavy. All right, so let's try our little tiny little flotation device. Try putting one up here. See if that helps. Build. Right, number one. What would you look at that? So, look, fire number two. I want to see what it looks like. Okay, see, so it's staying above the water. Now what we want to do is we want to get rid of that, that diving, that up and down action. That's no good. That means that we've got too much weight on the front, but it should explode. Oh, it should explode when it hits up, but it didn't. See if we can turn this way a little bit more towards that wall. So if we're moving forward, we go one, two. So we're getting that dolphin action happening, which is what we don't want. We want it to stay on the surface. And we're gonna go back into build mode. And let's try moving these back to these points. We'll shift the torque a little bit, so we'll fire number one. It's still dolphining. Oh yeah, see, even more so. See, that's why you want to try and keep it as far forward as possible so that it can't actually get... Your lift isn't coming from underneath your torpedo. It's coming from either directly in the rear, which is going to be even harder to control because then any uh, surfaces that you have in front are going to deviate it left or right. They're really hard to keep it going straight. Oh, and that's why we put them right out on the nose. So let's go opposite. We're going to move those propellers back to the front. Move these ones way up like this. Way up on the front side like that. And maybe, just maybe. Hmm. We do our lift there. So I'd like to do a little, little, bit, little bit stabilization with some... Uh, oh, hey, look at this. We can rotate these so we have control. Hey, what you doing? What y'all doing? We got our control points on the side of our dynamite sticking out left and right. And let's try putting ways. Oh, 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 see, we can't do that because now the propeller ain't got nothing to connect to on the bottom. All right, then. We like that. So we're going to rotate these back down. Now the propeller is connected, and we're just going to move these out one. We're going to copy these out like that. Now these, we can rotate. And they ain't going to have no effect on what's connected below it. So for here, we want to again put a couple of small stabilization fins. Little tandem ones, I guess. Now this might actually have the reverse effect that we're looking for in that it might just make the front end go up even higher. Or it might keep it stable in the water because our propeller is a lot more forward. So that's on number two, so let's try that. So we'll jump in here and we'll hit number two. 
Now, are we still getting the dolphin action? Not so much. As you can see, it stays a lot closer to the water, but see, as time goes by, it starts getting more pronounced. Yeah. That ain't working. All right, so let's get rid of them little fins that we put on the front there. That might be the only thing giving it lift. Uh, these should be almost identical. We're going to move these ahead a little bit. Copy these two. Up and over. Like that. All right, let's try that. Number one, number two. Ooh, we got some big dolphin action happening there. Unacceptable. Thou shall not be dodging up and down in the water. Okay, so we're going to try the opposite of, we're going to give ourselves a little bit more room here on the back side. We're going to get rid of these ones here. And we're going to go with them little fins again. But this time, we're going to put them on the back side. Like this, one on this side. And then we're going to copy these over. So I guess originally there's six white. Not necessarily four, like I said at the beginning. I lied, I know, I know. Apologize, apologize. Alright, let's try this. And fire one, and fire two. Now we're gonna jump out, and we're gonna see. That's what we're looking for. We want to stay at the surface, and it's going straight, one falling right behind the other. They got good speed. You have to be going pretty fast to be able to outrun those. So let's face towards the boat here. Make sure. Torpedo one, torpedo two. So we would fire those, make sure they stay straight relative to our boat. And as you can see, it doesn't take very long for them to get to that boat. They should go kaboom when they get there. Beauty, beauty. Uh, we need a wee bit more lift in the front here because we took away some of our floaty floaties. So uh, we're gonna do this, we're gonna move these out. We actually want to build a bit of a frame here for these on the boat. So we'll put a couple of these like that. Then we can copy them out. Copy them out. That's right. Just like that. Now we can copy these ones out. Yes. And one more. Then we got like that. So we got the boat to float. Number two. Whoa, what happened? Ah, uh, okay. Number one. What's what's that? What's happening? Wow! Look at me go. They pulled me now. Rebuild. And there go them two torpedoes. Okay, so we obviously have a issue with stickage. See, they wedged in there. That ain't no good. Can't have that. So we got these stuck. They're, they're touching here. And that ain't good. So we gonna have to move these out. That's all we can do. Oh, you do, unless you want to get fancy. And then we're going to take a couple of these here, they're dynamic pieces, rotate them around. Pop in like that. That should, in theory, eliminate the stickage issue, as long as it doesn't impede their direction that they're going. So it looks like they're both going straight. Beauty, beauty. So now we can kind of see if we can build our boat around our torpedoes. So we're going to bring two out like this. Even a little further. We'll copy a few of these out to the front. Like that. And then we'll build a basic frame around the boat just to make it look like a boat. So it'll look like a boat. Put these like this. Maybe copy them out. Bring them in. Ooh, we got to be careful though. Got to be careful. See, I almost done it. These would have been in the way of these small fins coming up the side. And a very, very good chance that any time we would have tried to launch those torpedoes, they would have uh, touched those and their direction would go off and they would be able to fire them straight. So we'll go with these. There's only one wide. Like that. So we build that in like that. Do they still fire straight? We really need some steering on this here boat of ours. Number one, number two. 
So the torpedoes themselves uh, actually work fine. So it's just a matter of slapping together a boat. Steering, we're just going to throw a fin on the back here, and we'll just put that on a steering hinge, a couple of slopes like this, and then we'll use a simple tail fin upside down in the water like that. Now we should be able to steer with our rudder. We got a floaty boaty device, so we can turn like this and say hello, and number two. See, and the torpedoes move faster than we do, so that's good. That's uh, the whole reasoning behind projectile weapons, is that if you can't get to yourself, well, you can send someone in your stead. Now, as far as launching the torpedoes from inside the boat so that you can't see the torpedoes, that would take a little bit more magic. Yep, they're definitely faster than the boat. Okay, so if we finish our boat here, we go like this. Add a couple more of these up here. And so yeah, to try and hide these in the front, I would probably go with, let's see, we can try and make like a hood that lifts a bit, or actually maybe pistons might even be easier. Test that, jump in like this, we hit Q, they pop up, hit Q, they pop down, okay, that is functioning, so now we will build our hood, And then we want to try and hide the front. That's the whole purpose of this thing. So we're going to bring some of these out like that. And then we're going to grab our corner pieces. Pop that one. Pop it over this way. And we can grab, let's see, where some of them are going to pieces like this. Try and make this a little more aerodynamic up front here. Bring them on in together like this. That'll make it fairly aerodynamic. Now, let's see, once we're in the water, yeah, see, we're starting to get a little heavy in the front. So we're in the water like this, and nobody, well, I guess you can see the torpedoes there. So if we hit Q, that should lift that, and then allow us to fire our torpedoes. Now we got four engines under here as well, so we're about, looks like we're just a little slower than the torpedoes. So yeah, Q brings that up, drops that down. So now, do we have enough space to put something around the front to kind of hide those torpedoes a little bit more? Let's try it, shall we? Can't even real see that we got torpedoes on there till I hit Q and the whole thing lift up and then we fire one two we close that back up we like say hello to my little friend now they're just gonna wash up on the shore delivery of two fresh torpedoes warning they are armed handle with care 
All right, let's finish the body of the boat. like a windshield and we can still uh oh I fired a torpedo without even knowing it well it's cool see look at that we can fire the torpedoes without even lifting our hood <clears throat> sometimes I even surprise myself well you can be like this and be like howdy fellers sure's a nice boat you got you ever seen one of these things it's called a torpedo uh oh, we got one stuck underneath now. Run away! Run away! So, we can probably get rid of those little extra floaties that I put in the back there. Get rid of one of them, anyways. What's the matter, Bonkers? Bonkers the cat. And actually, we can get rid of a little bit of weight off the front here with these extra pokies, too. No longer need this as the outside. We will need to aerodynamicize. Is that a word? Aerodynamicize? I don't know. Should be. Sounds very intricate. So, like this, let's see how that looks. Gonna be just floating in the water. Yeah, that's not too bad. We can cue. Say hello, take out that post. Okay, taking out the post, man. We launch those two. We close this. And drive away. Mission complete. So if we finish the back of the boat with a couple more of these. And it ain't a speedboat by any means. But if it were a battleship of some kind, it doesn't need speed. That's why we have torpedoes away. And they do go straight. See, that's a lot of the problems people have as well, is if you put your thrusters near the back, every movement in the front is going to amplify the propulsion from the rear. Boom. No, no boom. Really? What happened there? That's pretty well balanced torpedoes there. As you can see, they're not even moving sideways or nothing. We can swim under the water here, take a look at them like they're wedged in. That is not how they're supposed to function. Oh, look at that. It's almost too easy. Almost too easy. All right, we're going to spin us around here. So if he had cannons on there, he'd be hard pressed to shoot this far, unless he had them on some kind of steering hinges or something, right? So normal range. This is the whole idea behind having ranged weapons. Hit Q, we lift this, we fire torpedo number one. Let's see, one torpedo. Can we just do it with one? Can we take that thing out of here with just one torpedo? Boom! Oh, big damage. Look at that. She's going down. Going down. Going down. Oh, yeah. This is going to be fun. This is going to be good. All right. Torpedo number two. Fire. Torpedo away, Captain. Oh, yeah. She's going down for sure. Hasta la vista, baby. Boom! No more boat. I think there was a cat that just flew by. Please tell me there was a cat. But this thing's still floating. Look at that. Look at that. That's, that's a pretty resistant boat, don't you think? Yeah, I think that small floaty piece is just too small. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. That's all we needed was to push it down from the surface tension. And she's completely sank. All right, guys. Well, I think that's about all I got for you in this video. I want to thanks for your patience. Thanks for subscribing. Hit that like button. Leave a comment. And yeah, this is how you build torpedoes.
If you like what you see here, check out some of this stuff on the end screen. And we will see you in the next one. Ciao.